UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science is pushing the boundaries of new technology, from alternative energy sources, to new pathways for medicine, to making wireless communication networks faster and more efficient. And it's committed to educating the next generation of engineers to tackle 21st century problems. One solution to pressing energy issues may lie in some of the world's tiniest organisms. Professor Lauren Pilon is looking to harness the power of microorganisms into clean energy for the future. Algae is the fastest growing organism on Earth. And it uses carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, and light, which is plentiful. If we could use them to produce the next generation of energy carrier or fuels, and at the same time consume the CO2, we would be able to solve several uh, major societal problems at once. One critical element for these algae to grow is light. If there's no light, there is no photosynthesis. So they can't grow, they can't fix the carbon dioxide. So we focus on how do they use light, looking at different colors of light, and also how do they absorb and scatter light in the solution. That is essential for scaling up this technology. So you have simple experiments, you validate your simulations, and then you say, okay, it works fine, it, it gives good predictions, let me use this to look at a bigger system and how that would behave. And we developed the tools for that. Our mission of educating the next generation of researchers, scientists and leaders requires very well-rounded engineers. They have to know about microbiology, water chemistry, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering. This is, I think, a new kind of engineer we are training here. Through extracurricular projects, UCLA Engineering offers students a chance to expand their classroom and lab knowledge into real-world challenges. I think the first class that really sparked my interest was civil um, engineering, the elementary structural analysis class. It was really neat to see that civil engineering was so real and so around me all the time. It was something that was um, tangible. It's infrastructure, it's what you see walking down the street. Through ASCE and the Civil Engineering Department in general, we have opportunities outside the classroom. Steel Bridge focuses on three main components, the design, um, the constructability, and efficiency. We design our own steel bridge from start to finish. We first come up with an initial design, put it in a, into a computer program, and also um, discuss with our professors and grad students and see really what the optimum design is. Every year the design criteria changes, so we really have to look into what's in it this year and how we can work towards achieving that. So many things come into play that you have to plan ahead and it just brings what you learn in class into real life. Everything you can possibly imagine you can do at UCLA and you know it's up to you and how you take advantage of that. Professor E. Tang is looking at new ways to reproduce natural compounds that have medical benefits. A natural product is a small molecule produced by a natural organism. Uh, it could be a microorganism such as bacteria or fungus, or it could be from plants or animals. The most uh, important uh, application of natural products in the last 50 years is in the antibiotics market. We extract the compound from these microorganisms and uh, find that they have activity towards pathogens and then we use them as uh, drugs to treat infections. Since then, natural products have also been found to have other activities such as anti-cancer, uh, antiviral, uh, and uh, some of them even lower cholesterols. For our research, the fundamental scientific interest is to understand how nature assembles these enzymatic pathways to generate these natural products. The engineering perspective is how can we go in rationally and manipulate these organisms to do what we want them to do and produce different versions of antibiotics and better antibiotics. We work with the family compounds known as the statins, which are blockbuster drugs that lower the cholesterol levels 
in humans. Our goal is to be able to develop a new process of producing these compounds using microorganisms as a host so that they are more cost effective and we can decrease the cost to patients. The education we give to our students is broad so that when they graduate from UCR, they can pursue different goals in science and engineering. Professor Mihaela Vandeshaar is leading efforts to develop new mathematical frameworks for multi-user wireless communication networks. When you are actually at a Starbucks and you may not be able to transmit traffic just because the other devices around you are also trying to aggressively share the same wireless spectrum. What we are after is trying to design interactions among these different devices such that while they are interested in optimizing their own performance, they allow also to self-organize in a dynamic way. In the last few years, we worked on uh, providing a new mathematical framework for analyzing, characterizing, and optimizing multi-user communication systems with asymmetric information. And the way we did that is by modeling the interaction between users as a stochastic dynamic game that is played repeatedly among the different devices. Devices actually become cognitive entities which are learning over time about both the environment but also the other users and shape their interactions such that they can benefit their performance. Interestingly, we have shown that this has an important benefit for a particular user but also for the entire system performance. Finally, we hope that this will catalyze not only improvements in terms of algorithms, but also new communication system designs and applications. Every day, the engineers, researchers, and students of the UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science are working for a brighter, greener future.